forward. All right, so hello. Uh, first up, I want to talk about our managers. Um, as someone who started off uh, his basketball career, if you will, as a manager at, at, in high school, it's a super important role, a uh, role that keeps our, our program together. These guys do a great job every single day to make sure that we uh, we are in the best position to uh, to get uh, to do the things that we do in every practice and every game. All right, I want to start off with our manager, Aiden Kerwin. Aiden Curran was a manager with our program for two years, both his junior and senior year. Um, one thing that I always uh, loved about Curran is, uh, or Aiden, is that he was always willing to do whatever you asked him. Uh, you know, anytime I had something that I needed to be done, even sometimes when I didn't even ask, he was willing to do that. Um, he's always gone above and beyond for our program, and we're incredibly thankful for him and wish him nothing but the best uh, on his future endeavors. So thank you, Aiden. Next up, we have Isaac Starr. Isaac is a uh, was senior this year, obviously, and this was his first year as manager of the program. Uh, he's been to almost every practice and every single game, helping out, doing whatever it takes to help this program as well. Um, he's done all kinds of different things, like I said, no matter what was asked of him, just like Aiden, he was willing to do it, and I'm incredibly appreciative of that, including things like adding stats and, and helping out with the scouting report and everything that, uh, that really helped make this program run smoothly. Um, he's always had a positive attitude, always interacts with players really well, and really became a part of the team very quickly and was embraced by his peers. So, again, we're incredibly thankful for Isaac. Thank you for everything you did this year, and we wish you nothing but the best as you uh, continue on uh, beyond high school. Thank you. <laughs> Up next, uh, some of our players, obviously, uh, starting with number zero, Garrett Albert. Garrett uh, was a senior captain this season, a three-year three -year varsity player. Uh, he had 617 career points, 166 rebounds, and 131 assists as well part of our program. Uh, he's been a strong leader in his time here, both on and off the court, and I'm incredibly appreciative of everything that he's done as a senior captain this year. Uh, he has a great personality. He's always positive, always willing to lead for the team and do what's best. Um, once again, Garrett, thank you for, for your leadership this season, for everything you did for our team on and off the court. And we, again, we wish you nothing but the best of luck. There is one thing, there is one thing I missed. Garrett does turn a year older today, so a big happy birthday to Garrett. Chase Hassenjäger. Chase, uh, you always brought a positive attitude and a great friend energy to practice every day. Uh, you progressed strongly throughout the year, and I was incredibly proud of you uh, this year and for everything that you did uh, to, to make yourself a better player. Uh, you're always committed to, to, to that, to getting better. Uh, a lot of extra time in the gym to make that happen, and it certainly doesn't go unnoticed. Um, I had the privilege of coaching Chase both years here, both as the JV head coach and then this year as the varsity, and both on the floor and on the bench, he almost was kind of an assistant coach in the way. He has a great eye for the game. He understands it really, really well. And it's something that I certainly appreciated uh, throughout my time here. He was always willing to, to put, put ideas in my ear and uh, was always willing to help out the team. Um, always was the guy that was there after tough losses. Uh, when I'd be you know, a little frustrated, he'd be there to tell me to keep my head up and make sure that we keep going. And I really appreciate that from him. Uh, we're, thank you again, Chase, for everything that you've done, and we're very much uh, looking forward to uh, seeing what you do in the future. Uh, and so, yes, thank you. <laughs> Up next, number four, Danny Lodel. All right, uh, Danny obviously uh, last year was unable to play due to the injury that he had, but was always around the team, always involved, and was always a positive attitude. This season, I was incredibly Lucky to get the opportunity to coach you this year. You had a, uh, a great senior season, averaging almost 10 points per game per year, and led our team with 85 assists. 
Um, you have a great passion for the game. Like I said, you always have a positive attitude and is always there for his teammates in good situations and tough ones to pick their heads up and make sure they keep playing. Uh, he's a, he has been a leader on this Rook team as well um, and has, has always been there to help players out in drills and in games to, to make sure that everyone's on the same page and is a great communicator on the floor. I'm incredibly proud, Danny, of everything that you did and the progress and uh, the growth that you had this season. And once again, very excited to see what you do in the future. So thank you. Up next, Calvin Richard, who is our second senior captain this season, uh, and led both by his example and by his words every single day while he was uh, with the team. Uh, while our scoring was very balanced this year, Calvin did lead the way with almost 15 points per game this year, which led to 620 career points throughout his time here. We're very proud of the progress he's made, uh, and especially uh, something that I noted this year, and we've all uh, said your ability, you know, we do come in to shoot the ball, but you've been able to work and get some really good buckets inside as well this year, and are incredibly proud of the progress that you made throughout the way there. You had an excellent attitude. You were always willing to step up as a team captain and make sure that everything was going smoothly for everybody on the team, no matter who they were. You will be dearly missed in practices and games in the future. We wish you nothing but the best, Cal. Thank you. Up next, number 11, Cordell Anderson. Cordell was a key player off the bench for our team throughout the season and has been willing to step up and fill any role for the team, no matter what it takes. He stepped up on defensive assignments, made big shots on the offensive end of the floor, and has been, like I said, a huge, huge impact on our team throughout the year. As the season progressed, I really got to know the, the more fun and relaxed side of Cordell and, the, and some of the jokes and the goofing off that we had at appropriate times in practice. And that always made practice lighter and a lot more fun, so I'm very appreciative of that as well. And I'm incredibly thankful, Cordell, for everything that you did this year and everything you uh, will continue to do for the program. Uh, and again, best of luck to you as you continue on your journey. <laughs> Up next, number 15, Yadi Morales. Yadi has an incredible personality and attitude every single day in practice. He's always putting in a, whole, a lot of work uh, to, to help his teammates and to help himself get better. Um, he's one of the first players that gets the energy up on the bench during a game and makes sure that everyone is involved. So it was something that I had told the guys as we started the season that I wanted to emphasize, is having really good energy on the bench, and he was a leader in that this year, so thank you. I had the pleasure as well for Yadi coaching him last season as a junior on our JV team, and he was a really great leader, was our point guard, and was somebody that I really enjoyed working with throughout the season. Thank you, Yadi, again for your commitment, your constant efforts for the program, and we wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. <laughs> Up next is Zeno McCarthy. Zeno is a huge part of the program the last two years and has been very dedicated to it. Uh, he was always available, was always at practice, was always working hard. Uh, no matter what the role was, both in games and in practice, he came with a positive attitude and worked really, really hard. I'm incredibly thankful for that. You were a positive influence on this team, you know, uh, and being here both on the floor and on the bench throughout your time here. Thank you for everything that you've done. Last and certainly not least, uh, we do have a senior that is unable to be here tonight. Uh, Cannon Evers is, is not here, he's sick, but I did want to take the time to thank him for all he's done for the program. Uh, Cannon was a three-year varsity athlete that scored 500, almost 500 points and 475 rebounds. He was the leading rebounder on the team for the past two seasons. Uh, he had a great attitude at practice every day, always responded positively to coaching, and was always willing to do what it took to get better. We're very excited to see what Gannon goes on to do after, uh, after high school, academically, athletically, and beyond. Gannon, I hope you're, you're watching on YouTube because I'm incredibly appreciative of everything you did this season. Thank you very much. So once again, to all of you guys, again, I just want to say thank you. Uh, as a first year head coach here at Surgeon Bay, I was incredibly blessed to have the opportunity to get such a great group of young men in my first year here. Thank you for everything you did and you'll continue to do. So if, uh, with that said, I'd like to get one last round of applause for our senior class.
Search of a high school pep band under the direction of Mrs. Heidi Hintz as we honor America and those who so bravely defend our freedom with the plane of our national anthem. Thank you. 
Good evening, basketball. Say hello for the Sioux Bay High School. Tonight's tagline contest matchup between the Green Bay and E.W. Lutheran Blazers. And your Sturgeon Bay Clippers. Introducing the starting lineup for the Blazers. A 5 foot 11 is junior number two, Quinton Borsho. A 6 foot 6 is senior number three, Sam Gilman. A 6 foot 1 is junior number four, Reed Nelson. A six foot three inch senior number fifteen, Jack Misabek. And a six foot one inch senior number twenty two, Griffin Stephon. The Blazers are coached by Mr. Mark Mearson. Coach Mearson is assisted by Mr. Eric Coach and Mr. Danny Moser. And now, the starting lineup for your Sturgeon Bay Clippers. A six foot senior, number zero, here, over. A six foot two inch senior, number one, Chase Eisenhower. A six foot two inch senior, number ten, Colin Richard. A five foot eight inch senior, number eleven, Cordell Anderson. And a five foot seven inch senior number fifteen, Yanni Morales. The Clippers are coached by Mr. Zach Gold. His public is assisted by Chad Ober, Troy Hassenjager, and Mr. Trent Bond, courtesy of Dora County Medical Center. Trainer Alyssa Lee, student managers Isaac Starr, Aiden Kerwin, and Emmanuel Morales. Sturge Bay High School. Green Bay NEW Lutheran High School, the WIAA required good sports teacher at education, education based sporting events. Attendance at interscholastic activities is a privilege with the expectation to exhibit positive and respectful behavior. Thank you for your cooperation.
Three, one of our number 22, Griffin, step on. Griffin, Stephen, is first, the team is second. Number 10, Benji Lane. And 
number 11, Brett Gajewski. Replacing number 15, Jeff Miesenbeck. And number 2, Quentin Borchett. And a number, number 4, Tim Lohan. Replacing number 1, Chase Hassenier. Time out of the floor, called by the Liberty, the 32nd time out. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the big board. At this time, please give a big round of applause to our athletic director, Ms. Todd, Mr. Todd Michael, who will be retiring at the end of the school. Deservedly so. He's been a coach, teacher, mentor to many, a terrific leader, co-worker, and a great friend to all of us up here. He's been a great husband to Miss Holly, a terrific father to Rex and Rory. But his greatest accomplishment will be moving forward to be called Grandpa. By the way, next season, old buddy, you paint just like everybody else.
for the Clippers. At number five, Peyton Tracy. Replacing number 11, Cordell Anderson. Blazer foul on number 11, Brett Kayeski, the second team's fifth. Back into the Blazers, number three, Sam Hillman. Replacing number 11, Brett Kayeski. Ultimate possession to the Blazers. In for the Blazers, number four, Reed Nelson. Replacing number 10, Kenji Lane. Also in for the Blazers, number 11, Beth Gajewski. Replacing number 22, Griffin Stephan. Blazer foul on number 11, Brett Gaiesi, his third, team six. That ball for the Clippers, number zero, Garrett Olver. For the Blazer, number 23, Evan Montague, replacing number 11, Brett Gaiesi, for the Clippers, number 11, Cordell Anderson, replacing number 10.
Hang on, we're going off to the Blazers. They're 30 seconds. Time out. Ladies and gentlemen, our officials for tonight's game are Mr. David Lissick, Mr. Gerald Delbrew, and Mr. Stephen Blackford. Thank you, gentlemen. Basketball number two, Quentin Borsa. Chase Hudson in your number 10, Melvin Richard in your number 0. Here at Wilbur, you have the old photo on the other side. Ready for the Blazers, number 22, Griffin and Steffel, replacing number 23, Evan Montgomery. Richard is first, the team is third. Back in for the Blazers, number 10, Kim Chi. 
Lane, replacing number 22, Griffin Step. At the line for the Clippers will be number 10, Calvin Richard, shooting one and one. Here at Holbrook, who's first, the team's first.
Pass the ball on the team. Henderson, Replacing number one, Chase Hasselhage. Jackson, stop, his first, the team's fifth. At the line for the blazer, number two, Quentin Morgan. For the blazer, number 23, Evelyn Monfrey, replacing number three, Sarah Hillman. For the Clippers, number 11, Cordell Anderson, replacing number five. Tracy. Two minutes left. Two. Placer foul on number two, pointing for Joe is second. The team's eight at the line for the Clippers, number two, Jackson Stop. Shooting good. For the Blazers, number 13, Josh Tripp. Replacing number two, Quentin Borgia.
Number foul on number two, Jackson Stone. And second, the team six. Cody Clover, number five, Hayden Tracy. Replacing number 11, Corbett. Check out number two, Jackson Stone.
second half starts for the Blazers. Number two, Quentin Ojo. Number three, Sam Gilman. Number four, Reese Nelson. Number 15, Jack Nixon. And number 22, Griffin Stephan. Georgia, number two, Nelson.
So that number 22, Griffin, step up. Zero. Here it's over. His third, the team is second. At the line for the Blazers, number four, Keith Nelson. Shooting two. <laughs> for the Clippers, number 11, Cornell Anderson. The Blazers, number zero, here it's over. Foul on number two, Jackson. Stop. It's third. The team's third. <laughs> number 22, Griffin. Stop. It makes the first of two. For the Clippers, number one, Chase Casamir. Replacing number two, Jackson. Stop. For the Blazers, number 10, NG, Lane, replacing number 2, Quentin Borja.
Place your foul on number three, Sam Hillman. His first, the team's first. And the line for the Clippers. Number 10, Calvin Richards. For the Clippers, number 32, Freedom Eber. For number one, Chase Hassanier. For the Blazers, number 11, Brett Gajewski. Replacing number 4, Reed Nelson. Hayden Tracy is first to choose. For the Blazers, number two, Quentin Borchow, and number four, Reed Nelson. For the Clippers, number two, Garrett Cooper, replacing number 11, Cornell Anderson.
for the Cubbers, number two, Jackson Stump. Replacing number 32, Braden Eber. Please recall on the three Sam Gilman is second. The team is second. Jackson is fine. The team is fixed. In, in for the Blazers, number 13, Jack Misebeck, replacing number 4, Pete Jackson. For the Clippers, number 11, Cordell Anderson, replacing number 2, Jackson Scott. Is second. The team is second. At the line for the Blazers, number 22, Cricket Steppel shooting to
Quarter foul on number four, Danny Mowgli is second. The team safe at the line for the Lakers number three, Sam Hillman. has won her first two matches all by him. The second one will be 40 seconds. to the police. Jackson Scott replacer number 32, Greatly Eager. At the line for the Blazers, number 15, Jack Reeser.
Number foul on number five, Hayden Tracy. This third, that cuts the covers over the limit. At the line for the Blazer. Number 15, Jack Misa, shooting two. For the Blazer, number 10, Kenji. Right, great placing number two. Points in the first one. Second, 
Third place is number two, Quentin Borgeau for number 10, MG Wayne. Back in for the Blazers, number 10, Kim G. Wang, for number two, Quentin Borgeau. Time out on the floor, called by the Blazers, a goal. Time out. Also for the Blazers, number 13, Josh Cribbs, number 23, Evan Longree, and number 21. Quincy Wendland and number 33, Colton Nickel. Blazers, 61. 
We would like to thank everyone for coming, ladies and gentlemen, thank you to our friends in Green Bay for making a long trip up. We would especially like to thank our officials, Mr. David Hussain, Mr. Jared Delbrew, and Mr. Stephen Blackford. Let us not forget our senior. Number zero, Garrett Oliver. Number one, Chase Costigan. Number four, Danny Lowe. Number 10, Calvin Richard. Number 11, Cordell Anderson. Number 15, Giannio Morena. And going out here, he is in our house. Number 40, the big man. Number 33, Cena Open Garden. Thank you, Cena. Once again, thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you remember to buckle up and drop. Shake it. We are the champions. We are the champions. No time for the champions. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, Tuesday night, here, 7 o'clock, the Clippers play against the Menominee Indian Eagles. Once again, that's a 7 o'clock start. That's WYA Tournament Regional. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you. 